Hello folks. So we're here today to try to make some caramels. I've done a couple of batches. First batch failed. Second batch came out pretty bomb, I think. Um, I'm gonna show today. Um, today I'm going to make my caramels with some Uncle Herb's butter. There it is right there. And it is 250 milligrams of THC per container. So that right there is exactly half a cup, which I needed for my caramels today. What I did was I took my half cup of butter and my one cup of cream, and I combined them into a pot and warmed them up very, very slightly. So then whenever you pour that into your sugar mixture, it does not boil up as much as most people say it boils up. It does boil, hardcore, but let me show you what else we're working with. I'm using today for my syrup, I'm using Hungry Jack, a good old Hungry Jack. And today I'm putting some honey in it, some honey bear, which is gonna be a first, but I'm told it turns out amazing, so we'll find out. We're also going to use some imitation clear vanilla to cut out some of the tartness of it from cooking the sugar. Um, you gotta, like I said, have all your supplies ready before you get going. That way you're not trying to rush and get them going. This is a little container that I use. It's just something that we got some food in one time and it's just perfect for the caramels. It makes about 30 of them. Um, lots of paper there so that it doesn't stick to it afterwards. Um, your ingredients, you're going to use a one and a half cups of sugar, a quarter cup of corn syrup, a quarter cup of water, and one cup of cream. Like I said, I have put a little bit of honey in with my syrup, and it's not corn syrup, it's actual pancake syrup, but I mean, fuck, it turned out good. But when you use the honey in the syrup, Remember this, you gotta take it, I put it into the microwave, melt it down so that when you pour it out, you don't have all the crystals of the honey in the bottom of your container, because <clears throat> they do crystallize out. Uh, make sure you have a candy thermometer, because you have a couple of different temperatures you have to bring your stuff up to for it to work right, or it will not work right. Your first temperature you're gonna be working with is 320 degrees. So I just kind of put it, about on the 300 mark, a little over the 300 mark. And as you see on my thermometer here, it's got the nifty little gadget there to tell me where it's at so I don't have to go and keep touching it. I'm gonna take and stick that in here. Well, actually, I'm not gonna stick that in here yet because first I'm gonna get the stove going at a low temperature. Okay, I'm gonna let my pan heat up. Now remember, you got to use certain things now, okay? Make sure that you have a wooden spoon. Wooden spoons are amazing. Me, I got a wooden spoon, plus I have this wooden spatula, just in case I have to do any scraping or anything, which you should not have to do as long as everything's coming out right, okay? Now I have that on low there. I am going to take and put my syrup and my honey right in there in the pan on low heat okay like that go ahead and get that in there you don't got to get it all out of there um, that you're going to add your water okay and then with that you are going to take your sugar and you're going to pour your sugar directly in the center of the pan as much as possible kind of pile it up there make sure it's right in the middle because you don't want for your sugar to start burning on the sides okay so with that going now you can now and be careful because the pot will pan will get hot I'm trying to move it around here so maybe I can have that temperature where you can read it here in a minute but now you're gonna bring it up to about almost to medium, almost to medium. You wanna see the bottom of your pot? Okay, this is how I do it. 
I look at the bottom of my pot down there and you don't want the flame coming up the sides of your pot, but you do want the flames reaching the bottom of your pot. Okay, you don't want any space there. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and move my other little supplies over here. Oh, my vanilla. I'm gonna go ahead and add my vanilla in to my sugar as well. But you know what? I'm not gonna add it yet. I'm gonna add it after I get it boiled. Okay, now at this point, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna just let that sugar just sit there and kind of melt. And you're gonna bring it up to 320 degrees at first, okay? Now, as you sit here and you watch your sugar start to melt, you're just gonna see the changes in it. Let's see if I can screw up the camera here. Okay, let me do a close up there. Now watch that as it starts to melt. Now, my first batch I tried, I did it without the syrup and I did it without the water. I did it how some lady said to do it on YouTube and the sugar wouldn't melt right. It was crystallizing. I mean, nothing was coming out right whatsoever about it. Um, just nothing. Um, so, I went back, I did some more research, actually went and found some recipes and actually, you know, Instead of going to freaking YouTube, I actually followed a real recipe. Okay, now as you're gonna see here, things are gonna start going really quick, really fast. I should have a smaller towel available, which I don't. Uh, let's see, I'll use this right here. Okay. Okay. Now, as you see, it's starting to boil there on the side, bubble on the sides. Now, at this point, you wanna take your wooden spoon. Make sure you don't burn yourself. Kind of stir that up good now. And you'll see that your sugar is completely, completely melty now. Now, without the syrup and without the honey, this concoction would be taking forever and ever to get ready. Now, at this point here, everything's pretty much mixed together now. Sugar, everything. Um, it's going down off the sides because now, another thing, I gotta tell you guys, you gotta have a good pot, man. Now, don't get some steel pot. Get an aluminum pot like this one with these cool little sparklies in it. As stupid as that sounds, it makes a big difference, man. Okay, so at this point, everything's mixed together. I'm going to take and put my thermometer in here. Nope, you can't see it. Oh yeah, you can, look at that, perfect. I'm gonna watch that go on up there. Leave it alone. You don't want to change your temperatures too much either. I've heard that over and over and over and over and over from everybody that does their recipes um, with their uh, with their farm. So just take your time. Don't rush it. Um, keep it off the sides. Said, make sure it's not burning because you do not want your caramel to come out burnt okay if it seems like it's cooking a little too fast for you you can turn it down it's not going to hurt to have it down lower it's just going to take it a little longer that's all it doesn't hurt to take a little longer okay it doesn't hurt your product at all but now at this point i'm just going to let it start i'm going to turn it just a tad just a tad yeah right there okay Start up one more time before I leave it. I just turn down the temperature a little bit. Now, a lot of people have said that you can get the little the bristle brushes that you you do like butter with and stuff. I have a brush as well, but mine's silicone. It works fine as well. Um, you don't want to walk away from your caramel. You don't want to. Let them just sit there because things can change dramatically really, really fast. I'm right here. I didn't leave them anywhere. I'm just checking. Brush here. I've got my brush. Now, it takes about 10 minutes for your product to get where it needs to be. I like setting a timer just for the hell of it. Okay. Just so I'm paying attention to what I'm doing. 
take your, uh, if you guys see I have this little silicone brush, okay? If it starts coming up on the sides at all, you just take a little bit of water like this, and just kind of wipe it on the edge down here like that, and it comes off, okay? I don't need to do that because mine just works out the way it works out, okay? It smells amazing. Right now it smells like honey, which I have not had, like I said before. Um, I like to keep stirring it because I want to make sure it's not sticking or clumping up at all. Because if it does, I'm going to start it over. But now I'm going to let it go ahead and build up. Let it get to where it needs to be. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and pause this. And I will be... No, nah, I'm going to let it keep going. That way you can watch the whole darn thing. Okay, so let me grab one of these. Uh, show you one of these other ones here. Okay, so. This is my other container that I put them in before. Okay, so my caramels that I made before. I have one here for you. I'll show you. Turn it on. This is caramel. Put them on wax paper when I'm all done. Get out there and have an awesome, awesome caramel. Look. Yeah. Mm. Now that's jam. That's so so yummy, guys. Mm. 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 That's so good. Mm. I'm starting to take it out now. That's so yummy. I gotta try this, man. Mm. I'm sorry that you guys sit there listening to me. Chewing on my caramel. That's so fucking good, though. Mm. So good. Oh. And up there, we're waiting. What I did so I didn't throw you off either. Um, adding the honey, what I did was instead of adding a whole uh, quarter cup of syrup, I did like a little less than a quarter cup and then made the rest of it the honey so that it evened out to a quarter cup. for our know. This is a very, very tedious process. You have to have patience. You can't rush it. You can't hurry it. If you do, then you'll completely ruin your product. I promise. Already done it once. Saw how that other caramel came out. I just showed you. Yeah. Here was my first batch. And see there. Part of the rock. They're like brittle. Taffy. Toffee. Whatever you want to call it. Just not. It's okay. 
just not my cup of tea not my thing but you see our temperatures going up there I said you don't want it too high because you'll burn the crap out of your caramel and it tastes like crud make sure your heat is staying it is on the flame where it's supposed to be because you want it right in the middle Thicker and thicker, thicker. That's what we're trying for to get as thick as thick as thick can be as it's on the stove boiling. See, it's coming off almost like a just really syrupy now. It's getting syrup, 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 syrupy. When that syrup gets to a certain temperature, it just it's magical, man. It just really is. It's, it's really magical. We're getting there. Yeah, the temperature just got up to about 200, it looks like. Like I said, it's got to get to 320. 320. 300 at the lowest. I'll probably get criticism. People saying I'm trying to do it too fast. Or, you know, doing something wrong, I'm sure. But, you know, this is my way of doing it. This is what I found to be the best way. So you do not want for it to start. Start burning. You don't want to start burning. You do not. Straight up sugary fucking goodness. Two hundred. Hoping my uh, my thermometer is not being stupid, man. That'd really be a bummer, you know. Uh, it's building up. Then it goes down. So I don't know. said it's only take about 10 minutes to get up to your temperature that you really 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 need So at this point, I'm just going to turn it up a little bit to see if 
I can get my temperature to raise because I have it too low maybe. Because it should already be up to where it needs to be by now. It should only take 10 minutes. Maybe 15 at the most. I do not want to start smelling my stuff burning. So I'm going to turn it off. I'm done with this part. You turn it off now. Okay. And you're going to turn it off. You're going to take your candy thermometer the hell out of here. At this point, you're going to take your butter. Actually, at this point, I'm going to take and put a little bit of my vanilla here. As you see, it's going to really, this is going to boil up big time, watch. Boiling up. Okay. That's all like that. Oh no, something bad happened. Fuck. I don't know what's going on. Okay, give me a second here. I'm gonna make this work. I don't know what's going on. Hope I don't fail the day again. Come on. Come on. Get yourself in here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And at this point, you turn it back on. I'm gonna get it on low. And have it high, and have it on low. And at this point, you want to get this to mix, man. It's really upsetting me right now. I waste all that butter and that cream and stuff, man. What happened, buddy? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Okay. Look, it's doing better. Okay. And this here is going to be the fun part. Okay, make sure that your house is up there. And you're going to leave it alone now. Don't touch it now at this point, because you're going to get some stuff burning on the bottom, maybe, okay? I don't know what I did. Hopefully, you guys are going to witness what happens here. Let's see what happens. happens. Oh, fuck. Candy thermometer back in. And now we're at the point to where we're going to try to get it up to 240 degrees. stir it now. I'm just kind of move it around in there. Let it do its thing. Just take about 15 minutes again. See what happens.
stir it, but don't scrape the bottom. Because if you scrape the bottom, you're going to get shit that's burning on the bottom in your stuff. Because it will happen. It didn't happen on me last time, but I guess it does happen. So. I don't feel like anything is burning right now on me, though. So, I'm going to try to kind of stir it. Yeah, there's nothing burning. It's doing very good now. Hopefully, it smells really, really, really good. like they turned out the color of the Werther's. They don't look brown like the other ones. I hope they came out alright. I think I'm, I thought I screwed up at first. I don't know if this fucking temperature gauge is working right or not. It's getting up to 200. Doesn't seem to go above fucking 200. Okay, the kid said you just got home from work. No. That's crying pussy in case everybody's wondering. Temperature's going up. We're a little above 200. Do a little stir here and see what's going on. And we're definitely, definitely getting thicker. What we're doing is we're cooking our caramel now, you guys. We're making it into actual caramel. We're making it thick. The longer you cook it, the thicker it gets. And if you don't cook it up to a certain temperature, then it'll just turn into blah.
We're getting there, folks. really sucks, man. I don't think my temperature fucking gauge is working. I guess I'm going to have to go by time, huh? Okay, so everybody, I, I, I set my timer for 20 minutes a minute ago. I don't want this cooking too much or it's going to ruin it, literally. Um, obviously, my fucking temperature gauge on my candy thermometer is not working. I'm really pissed off about that right now. But it's not going above 200. And I can tell that my caramels are about ready. So I got them down to about five minutes. I stand here and watch it, make sure it doesn't burn, get too thick. Here. 